We're at Alcoa Warwick, which is the largest, uh, I, guess, I guess it's considered the largest vertically integrated aluminum mill operation in North America. That's correct. And I'm with Evan Quinley. He's the operations manager here. So talent is probably one of the biggest issues that everyone faces, not just at Alcoa, but everywhere else. What are the kinds of things that you're working on to, to attract uh, talent into the marketplace, and, and, and in particular to your company? Because you, you, there are some great opportunities for someone to be employed here. Absolutely. I think the, uh, the dynamic in the workplace has changed quite a bit as uh, technology has improved uh, and then you see these large tech companies, everybody wants to work at a place like Google, right? Sure. So it's a, you know, it's a challenge to take a 60-year-old manufacturing facility and, uh, and give it that feel uh, and, that, and that vibe that a, you know, a, a tech giant would have. So we uh, we did a lot of soul searching over the past uh, past year and and asked ourselves how do we how are we competitive for the younger generation people just getting out of school that want to come work, and we've made some uh, some changes in compensation changes in vacation time because uh, you know the newer employees value uh, time outside of work right. uh, as as their primary value, so we've uh, we've increased their vacation time. Uh, but also, uh, we're improving the candidate experience and improving the onboarding experience, uh, really trying to engage employees in the different communities that exist within the plant. Um, and one of the methods that we do that is through our employee resource groups. So we have employee resource groups that uh, will su support um, the uh, Alcoa Women's Network. Uh, we have the uh, Support and Development Association, which uh, across Alcoa is a larger corporation, uh, became the African American Heritage Network. But here, because we, we uh, formed that here, we kept it as the Support and Development Association. We have a, our Veterans Network. We have our Eagle Network, which is the, uh, supports the LGBTQ community. So look, at, thinking about a very traditional manufacturing settings such as Alcoa, I mean, how do you integrate just an incredibly diverse workforce? Well, a, a, a large part of that comes from our core values, uh, especially around care for people. So we've got to focus on, uh, on people development and uh, that's how we integrate them into uh, Alcoa's system. Well, you know, I, I think diversity is certainly very important. Everyone's talking about being diverse. What's really interesting and unique is that you look at these legacy companies like Alcoa and you're thinking, well, that certainly can't be that diverse. But what you're really finding is that you have an amazingly diverse workforce and there are great opportunities for, for someone to be working at Alcoa. Absolutely. Um, you know, the, the, we want to make sure that um, we, we attract a broad range of talent and that comes from uh, from a very diverse talent pool. Uh, so we're actively working to make sure that when we go to interview a slate of candidates for any given job, that we do have a diverse slate before we ever proceed to the interview. Well, that's the great thing about working at Alcoa right here is that, first off, it's these are not minimum skilled or minimum wage jobs. No. They're, they're much greater than that. And, and then the idea that you, you, you take those individuals who have some seniority, a lot of skills, and you're bringing on, onboarding the people who are just coming into this manufacturing setting. Uh, do you find that Alcoa, what you're doing now, is something different than maybe you did uh, 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 you know, five or six years ago? Well, I'd say it was certainly uh, different. You know, uh, when Alcoa was a much larger company, Company prior to separation with Alcoa and Arconic, the, the rolling mills in North America pretty well divided up the, uh, the college geography and each, okay. each mill had its own college, um, maybe one or two colleges that it would go and recruit at. Uh, we've decided that we need to have a broader spectrum of colleges and really get people who want to live in this area in order to, uh, in order to uh, proceed or increase our um, our talent pool. Well, I've noticed that, especially that you're you're advertising around the Midwest mm -hmm. about Alcoa. We, we've seen some things over in the Louisville Airport talking about Alcoa. You're seeing some other kinds of things. So, how is that going? I mean, you really have expanded the potential labor pool uh, from consideration to a, to a much broader area. Yeah, that's been a fantastic initiative. So, uh, our HR team. Uh, recognized that we needed some more uh, publicity and coverage on, over the fact that we are the top paying, um, uh, top, 
top paying hourly wage uh, oh, absolutely for the region in, in, the, in the region. So I don't think a lot of people really connected with that. You know, our operators and our skilled craftspeople are what makes this plant great. And we want to make sure that we're getting the best of that the area has to offer. So through that, we went through our advertising campaign with the billboards that you've seen around town, just making sure that people know that we have benefits day one and we have the top paying wages in the area. And that you're still hiring. Absolutely, we're still hiring. So we just had Indeed come out and we had a remarkable yes. event with Indeed where we, uh, we were expecting roughly 50 applicants for the open positions that we had and we had over 700 applicants. <laughs> it was an amazing <laughs> That's pretty event. amazing in itself. Absolutely. That, 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 well, just the testament of what, what the power of Alcoa and the type of employment is here. I mean, how exciting is that for you being here? Oh, it's incredible, and it's you know, it's it's an it's an amazing opportunity to lead such great people uh, here, and then see them get energized over over things like that because. You know, it's very easy in a, in, a, in a heavy manufacturing to just say, hey, we're going to keep doing things the way we've always done The way you've always done, done it, sure. And then when you see that light go on over, you know, in people's eyes, that they get really excited and take ownership of those ideas and run with them and bring them to fruition, uh, it's, it's amazing. And, it, you know, that's where I get my energy from being the operations manager here. We're excited that you could join with us today. Evan, I really want to thank you for allowing us to be here right in Indiana's Great Southwest.